Most of the biggest moves in free agency happened during that first week, the tampering period, the official start of the NFL new league year. And then after that, it's a little quiet for the most part. With the first wave of free agency over, the Detroit Lions have done most of the damage that they're going to do. Now it's this really an issue of whether DJ Chark will return. And there might be another big move brewing that we'll talk about in a later video. But I saw something today. Shout out again to my guy, Mr. Poole. Always keeping me up on everything Detroit Lions. And I appreciate that. This is the first one that we've received. The first post-free agency, which you can't really call it that because it's not really over. But since the first wave is over, NFL Draft. This one is different from what I've seen before. Two things that I haven't seen done yet. There is a familiar name in this mock draft. But then there's a, game, a name that comes out of nowhere. But what happens in here is quite intriguing. The odds of that are rare, but we have seen our GM do something that was very bold in the previous draft. So without further ado, let's get this thing started and see who the Detroit Lions are going to draft in the first round, according to CBS Sports. The Detroit Lions have traded with the Las Vegas Raiders, and with the seventh pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Tyree Wilson, Edge, Texas Tech. The Detroit Lions had a need at cornerback and promptly addressed it to star free agency, adding Cam Sutton and Emmanuel Mosley. And while there is depth at defensive end, Romeo Aquara and Charles Harris are entering the final year of their deals, and the opportunity to pair Tyree Wilson and Aiden Hutchinson is too good to pass up. Las Vegas gets the number six pick. Detroit gets picks number seven and number 70. Tyree Wilson has been mocked quite a bit to the Detroit Lions in past NFL drafts. And here they have, I believe, the Arizona Cardinals taking Will Anderson Jr. This is a trade I really wouldn't be opposed to, to tell you the truth. We would pick up an extra third-round pick. So now we would have three third-round picks, and we would go back just a spot. And seeing how Brad Holmes has currently not addressed the backup quarterback situation, then that would give us an extra pick to not only take a defender, but potentially take a quarterback in the third round as well. Tyree Wilson has had claim to Arizona. Rumors have come out that Arizona Cardinals are very high on him and that they could take him at third overall. So let me know how you feel about this. It's not a bad trade scenario, in my opinion. I wouldn't mind if Brad Holmes did something like this. Now with our second pick in the first round, pick number 18, here's where things get a bit interesting. Another trade takes place. I mean, we know Brad Holmes is aggressive, and this would be being super aggressive. Another trade takes place where the Detroit Lions move from spot 18 to spot 22. And this name here, I have not seen mocked to the Detroit Lions as of yet. So let's see who CBS Sports has us taking post-NFL free agency with our second first-round pick. The Detroit Lions have traded with the Baltimore Ravens. And with the 22nd pick in the 2023 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Deontay Banks, cornerback, Maryland. The team signed Cam Sutton and Emmanuel Mosley in free agency, but there's still a need for depth at outside corner. Sutton can play both inside and out, especially since Mosley's deal is just for one year. Maryland teammate and fellow cornerback Jacorian Bennett got much of the buzz in the fall, but Deontay Banks put together the type of season that will land him in the first round conversation. He's a fluid athlete who is also a big physical corner who can match up with NFL wide receivers. Baltimore gets pick number 18, Detroit gets pick number 22, and a 2024 third rounder. These guys really need somebody to proofread this because this says, but Deontay Banks, but that's supposed to be put. I know I make a ton of mistakes and you guys are very quick to correct me in the comment section, but this is a professional multi-million dollar network you think they would have somebody proofreading these things. It's here that this mock draft gets intriguing to me. The Detroit Lions drop down four spots and gain a extra third rounder for 2024. In the meantime, offensive lineman Osiris Torrance, linebacker Miles Sanders, and wide receiver Quentin Johnston all come off the board. Those are all positions that we could use, and they're at the top of their craft when it comes to the NFL draft. And... All we gain is an extra pick for next year, so it wouldn't technically help us this year. Oh, and by the way, this mock draft has Bijan Robinson going number 27th to the Buffalo Bills. We hear that he might not even make it 
out the top 20. It's not the player or the pick that bugs me. It is the compensation. I myself would not mind an extra pick this year to go along with the pick that we got from the Baltimore Ravens. So now our eight picks will become 10. Those are 10 players. Seven or eight of them could be immediate impact players, and that could really change our team around. So I don't mind Deontay Banks, but I would prefer to see that pick be this year instead of next year, and maybe we can talk about it. So let me know what you think of CBS post-free agency mock draft. What grade would you give it? Let me know in the comments below. And how would you feel about the double first-round trades that the Detroit Lions was able to pull off? If we can get an extra pick this year, that's something I would entertain. My name is Derek. This is Detroit Lions Syndicate. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. I want to push to 9,000. Hoping to get there maybe this time next week. That would be fantastic. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself. And as always, go Lions.